I want to start by saying bracket the Yahawu, bracket the Yaharashai, bracket the Yahawu, bracket the Yaharashai, Kohala, Yahawa by Hashim Yahashai, Kohala, Yahawa by Hashim Yahashai, by Hashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawa, which means he is or he exists, by Hashim in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be. Yahavashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the ped pedigree of your father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab Ba'ashim Yahavashai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We have been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, set your commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the elect, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the scriptures and would be able to follow that light down that straight path. Okay, down that position of difficulty, and the Lord would give us understanding of the perilous times. Okay, and to be able to have knowledge, wisdom, understanding to turn back to the Lord, and He would send forth what His teachers, okay, or His uh, prophets that would feed us with with knowledge and understanding. Okay, and what you're seeing is, you know, the um, the elder apostles, okay, the elder bishop, okay, the elder bishops and the elders, okay, on the screen. Okay, and um, they did a live yesterday, um, and they were going into um, faith, or they were going into, a, you know, a bunch of different things, but, you know, what stuck out to me was about at this mark, and, they're speaking, and they were speaking about faith, on how, um, you know, certain groups, IUIC, were making fun of GMS for being faith-based Israelites, okay, and faith is very important it's a very important tool because faith means that you will you actually believe in the doctrine okay and hearing hearing the doctrine okay when you when you heard this message you believe so you what went out to what um you know you ate the whole roll and then you went out and what to go teach okay because you believe that yahabah shemashai has sent forth what pastors of his own heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding okay and the two-thirds the ones that reject the lord okay they're gonna find out um, the Lord is not playing with you anymore, okay? Those that are coming with false doctrine, those that are playing with the name, okay? That means that you truly don't believe in Yahab HaShem okay? And because you're not doing the things that what ple that are pleasing unto the Lord, okay? So I want to start right here um, before I even uh, play the video. This is Matthew 17 and 20. Okay, Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief. Okay, so again, in this chapter, um, it goes into what the healing of um, you know, Yahweh Shai healed the, um, the child that had what uh, demons on them. Okay, and then also you had, um, yeah, you know, Yahweh Shai heals a demon possessed boy. Okay, and then you also have what the transfiguration. Okay. So, and in these things, you have to be able to believe because not everybody's going to believe in these certain, certain uh, healings. Okay. But this is what Yahweh Shai, um, you know, did and what happened. And we believe that to be so, okay. Through what faith, right? It says Matthew 17 and 20. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. This is actually, it says, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief for verily, so truly I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Okay, so a mountain is symbolic to what a government, okay? And the government of what Babylon the Great, which is America today, okay, is the um, the great whore, okay? Where Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is able to what fornicate with all these different nations, pushing forth what, um, pushing forth iniquity and sin across the four corners of the earth. Okay, and so we're so we're saying to our power, Yahaba um, you know, um, please rid us of um, this strange child, okay, which is Esau Edom, and that's through what faith, okay, and a, and a um a mustard seed is a very small seed, okay, that uh that um that the Lord what because the Lord is what our husbandman, okay, and He plants a seed of what truth of of knowledge and understanding of what the scriptures to what to be able to believe. 
And as the as the um, the Lord, you know, keeps supping with us, okay, we begin to grow, okay, and in that growth, okay, becomes what um, you know um, a mustard, you know, a mustard seed. Far as it grows, and it grows to what to be a um, you know a place that can be inhabited by what other. Um, let me let me get the scripture. This is Matthew's. Okay, thirteen, because it describes the um, the mustard seed. Okay, and through the, the growth, wait, Slaki, Matthew's 13 and 30, I think. Yeah, the mustard seed, the parable of the mustard seed. It says another parable, which a parable is an illustration of, of, of the kingdom. Okay, that's said in the form of a story, right? Another parable, but he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which of a man took and sowed in the field. So who who's the one that actually uh, sowed that, you know, far as in the field, far as in our mind? Okay, Yahab Hashem Yahashat sowed what the, the seed of what truth, okay, to be able to believe. Though we haven't seen our, our you know, our Lord with what bodily eyes, okay, we believe that he sent forth pastors of his own heart, okay, which indeed is at the least of all seeds. Yeah, so it's the smallest of, of the seeds, okay, but when it when it's grown, right, which indeed is the least of the seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among the herbs and becometh the tree. So that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Yeah, so when the um the elect, far as the fruits come in, come into the fold, they're able to what rest upon that tree, which a tree is what symbolic to what um a metaphor for what people. Okay. They're able to follow what the um the trees that the Lord is what building. Okay, because the Lord is what watering those trees with what this truth, okay, with this knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be able to believe. Okay. When you read, uh, what is that? Psalms 1 and like 3. Psalms 1 and 3. It says, It says, And he shall be a tree planted by the rivers of water. So those rivers of water goes into what? The truth. Okay. The truth is known as what? Water. He that believeth in me shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. And the tree, again, is a metaphor for what? Um, for people. Okay. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yeah. So what is the fruit? The uh, The reward. For the things that you have done. Okay. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So the, the leaf not withering. Meaning that it's going to prosper. It's going to stay green. Okay. As long as we stay on the course. Through what the faith that Yahweh Shemar has given us. And through the understanding. Through that what that mustard seed. That the Lord has planted. Okay. And anybody that's not of the Lord's. Okay. Is going to be what rooted out. This is Matthew 7 and 18. Okay, and this is speaking about another parable, right? A tree and its fruit. Okay, and what you see is men out there that um, they act like they believe, but inward they are raving wolves. Okay, let me read this Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come into your sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And anybody that says that, you know, um, you know, faith base is, is not, you know, is not worth it. OK, or, you know, you're just faith based Israelites. That's just someone not knowing the actual truth. They're not spiritual. They're carnal. OK, because this is about faith. OK, you have to have faith to be able to be doers of the work far as to do it in truth and sincerity. OK, because you have men that are out there, but are they doing it in truth and sincerity? Or are they doing it for fame or to, to try to keep a good name? OK, but they're not doing the works right, because in doing the works it's also with correction. Okay, reproving and rebuking, because again, we're being refined as gold tried in a fire. So we're not, uh, um, you know, far as we're subject to sin. Okay, but in the doctrine, we got to be perfect. And that's why we have brothers that are able to, you know, point out certain things if we go off. Okay, and in that um, being in the Lord, abiding in the Lord, okay, we're, we would accept that correction. But those that are not of the Lord's, they're not going to accept the correction going into them being ravenous wolves. Okay. Beware of false prophets which come into your sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Yeah, so they come with the garments, you know, they come with the Bibles, you know, they have beards, okay? But then they do all sorts of other things, okay? And that goes into, you know, you got to be examples of your flock, okay? Um, you know, the things that you're doing, you got to understand that you have, you know, um, people that are following, people that are coming in in the new. So um, those those ways of the world, don't don't um, they're not part of the ministry. Okay, they're not a part of ministry means serving. They're not part of what serving the Lord. Okay, it says 16, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns and figs and thistles? Yeah, so you're going to know them by their fruits. 
okay by by them what having rap videos you know selling everything that's not nailed to the floor okay selling prayers you know doing all these certain things and that was the that was the one thing that uh Yahweh Shai got upset about okay those that are making what um merchandise of the truth okay and making the what the house the house of the lord what um you know you know thieves you know thievery stealing something that's not theirs okay because this is Yahweh Shema Shai's now, if you're in the truth, then this is part of you, okay? But if but if you're doing something that's worldly, then that's you're not being a part of the Lord, right? Matthew 7 and 17, it says, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hand down and cast into a fire. And what is that? That's the devouring fire. Okay, it's not a lake. Of, it's not a um, slaki. It's not a um, a place that burns forever. Okay, the lake of fire is speaking about those ICBM missiles cast into that fire. Okay, wherefore by thy fruits you shall know them. Yeah, by their fruits, their actions. Okay, the meek and the lowly. Okay, those that are coming with gimmicks, those that are coming with you know trying to shine in this world. Okay, they're gonna find out that um, you're gonna be chaff for the fire. Okay, Matthew 7 and 19 in the NLT. So every tree that does not produce good fruit, yeah, so the, the things that are pleasing unto the Lord, is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yeah, chopped down and thrown into the fire. And that's what's happening is these certain groups are being chopped down, okay, because their works are not faithful. They're not faithful unto the Lord. They're actually faithful unto the things of this, of this world, right? 20, yes, just as you can identify a tree, okay, again, a tree is a metaphor for, for people, by its fruit, again, the works that they do, so you can identify people by their actions. You can identify someone, um, you know, by by do they call upon the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Okay, do they know the mark of, what the mark of the beast is? You know, and also what who were their teachers? Who taught them? Okay, and that's kind of how you can be able to gauge someone, you know, uh, spiritually discern them. Okay, because the Lord has given us that power to be able to spiritually discern, okay, spirits. Okay, so in that. Okay, that faith as a, a grain of mustard seed, okay, you're seeing what growth, okay, as um, far as a growth in what the ministry, okay, those that are calling upon the correct name and believe in that name. So let me go back to this, Matthew 17 and 20, it says in the NLT, it says, you don't have enough faith, Yahweh told them, I tell you the truth, if you have faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mount, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Yeah, and so with the Lord, nothing is impossible. Okay, once you understand um, Yahweh Shimon Shai's power, Luke 1 and 37, for without our power, nothing shall be impossible. So nothing's impossible. Okay, and the Lord has given us with the understanding on how we're supposed to, um, how we're supposed to be. Do examples um, of our forefathers and examples of men before us. Okay, Philippians 1 and 20 in the NLT, for I fully expect and hope, yeah, because hope goes into your belief, okay, you believing in the doctrine, you believing um, what the, what the you know, what the apostles are speaking about, what the bishops are speaking about, you're on the same accord, okay, you're not mocking and scoffing, you're actually 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 on the same accord, it says, um, yeah, because that's actually in this scripture too, Philippians 2 and, and 2. Yeah, fulfill you my joy that you might be like-minded. Yeah, like-minded, wholeheartedly, having the same love, being on one accord at one mind. Okay, that's how those brothers are able to meet up because they're on one accord. They're not all. They're not speaking different things. They're speaking on one mind and one accord and speaking on the same names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shot. Okay, it says. Um, all right, so let me go back to Philippians one and twenty. Philippians 1 and 20 in the NLT, for I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed. Yeah, because that's what it is, is a lot of these groups, they're ashamed of the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, or they're ashamed of, of, of um, you know, um, the laws that are in the scriptures, okay, as um, far as the grape doctrine. They're, they're ashamed of that. They're ashamed of what the mark of the beast and what it actually is, because that, that's why they won't speak about it, even though um, you have low-level Edomites speaking about it, okay, as far as the neural link and things like that, right? And those are just some of the doctrines, okay, that they, that they go off on, right? So, uh, for I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to bold for Hamashiach, okay, the Messiah, as I've been in the past. And I trust that my life will bring honor to Hamashiach, whether I live or whether I die. Yeah, because whether you 
go to the spirit world or or you're here okay um you know the thing is what enduring to the end okay stand you know bearing that cross and standing up standing up for Yahweh Shema Shai and in that the Lord will stand up for you okay and this goes into what your hope and your faith and your belief okay your belief in Yahweh Shema Shai let me get one more I'm gonna play the uh, video a little bit this is Proverbs 10 and 20 okay Proverbs 10 and 20 the tongue of the just yeah which the just would be the elect okay is as choice silver the heart of the wicked is little worth yeah so those that are um you know coming in the you know far as the worldly doctrine it's not worth anything, okay? It says the lips of the righteous feed many. Yeah, the lips of the righteous are feeding many. So through, you know, Elder Abba Bivens, through, you know, our, our elders at, at, at One West, and then the ones that continued in the faith, far as um, the head apostle at Great Mill so far has continued in the sound doctrine, okay? They are what feeding, you know, feeding the flock, okay? And in that, men have what learned under them, and now they're able to feed the flock, okay? Again, going into shepherds, we have uh, Yahweh Shai, which is the good shepherd, and then the Lord sent forth shepherds of his own heart. Okay, the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for for the want of wisdom. Yeah, they destroy for with the lack of common sense. Okay, because again, they they're so caught up in the fame, the glory, you know, the accolades, the subscriptions, you know, the uh, the five hundred one the contract. Okay, they're so uh, uh, enamored by this great whore. OK, that they don't that they have um, accepted bribes. And now what? Now they're caught up in the world. OK, Proverbs 10 and 21 in the NLT, the words of the godly encourage many that the words of the godly encourage many. Yes. Yeah, so many that are like minded. OK, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. The blessing of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Yeah, because there's, you're not adding to the scriptures. So if you're not adding to the scriptures, meaning that you're not going to have the plagues that are in this book. But if you're adding, okay, or taking away, what does that mean? That means that you're going to have the plagues that are in this book, the bloodshed, the strife, and the calamity. Okay, let me read that again. That was fire. It says, the blessing of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh makes a person rich. Yeah, the blessing. What is the blessing? The understanding. To be able to believe that mustard seed. To be able to believe um, again, and I keep re reiterating, um, you know, pastors of Yahweh Hashem Shai's own heart. Let me just get that. Okay. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Okay. And the first step to what uh, wisdom is what fearing the Lord. Okay. And that's what a lot of these uh, Israelites, you know, these two thirds, or unless they repent, uh, they don't fear the Lord. Because they don't believe that the Lord is actually coming. Okay. And it speaks about that I shall what see thy teachers. Um, or let me see. Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I will, I will it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh keep not silence and give him no rest till they establish, till he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. Okay. So in that, okay. Uh, those men that stopped, okay, as far as, you know, they, they did their last video or they didn't continue in the faith, guess what? They're not the Lord's elect because it keep it says keep not silence till Jerusalem is a praise on the earth. And that's, and that's not what's going on right now as far as, um, or it's lucky, that's what's going on. But um, we're not in our land. That's what I want to say. We're not in our land. Okay, we're, we're, those, those tears are, you know, brothers are still wiping, you know, still have tears as far as the videos. Okay, but the Lord Yahweh Shai said he will what wipe away all tears. Okay, when he when he comes back, right? And so that's what we're seeing right now that the Lord would set up his teachers, right? And they're not keeping silent, and they're not saying, "Hey, this is my last video." So let me play the uh, the brothers, right? Men of faith, they about faith-based Israelites. Well, what, what else is there to be? Right, right. You know. Hey, I got a scripture for you. The just shall live by what? Faith. Hey, by faith. Another one. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is what? Impossible. So, hey, 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 yeah, Nate was saying that years ago. You guys are faith-based Israelites. As if that's a put-down. That's actually a that's actually yeah, that problem. Yeah. Okay. Let me get the scripture. This is um, Isaiah 30 and 20. 
Isaiah 30 and 20, though the Lord Yahweh shall give you bread of adversity, the things you got to go through, and the water of affliction, yet shall not the teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but that I shall see my teachers. So in what are the teachers speaking about? Faith. Okay. And um, when the apostles had said that, I thought about this article that had came out. Okay. As far as Department of Homeland Security. Now, I just, you know, this is actually two pages and I just screenshotted it and made it so it was one. Okay, but you can go to the Homeland Security page, okay, and on June 7th, 2022, okay, the summary of what terrorism threat to the United States, okay, and when you look at this, you're going to see, right, what does it say, and I just put it, I, you know, basically a red box, right, it says, um, and this is the, it says, against a range of possible targets, uh, targets could include public gatherings, faith-based institutions, so faith-based, Okay, it doesn't say carnal ass niggas. It says faith based institutions. Okay, why why faith based? Because you believe in something. So in, in in a lot of beliefs, you're gonna have people what go to the end for their beliefs. So even through even through their um you know, even through our sufferings, even through some of us being mortars, even through some of us being put into prison, okay, we're gonna hold on to the end. The elect would endure to the end. Okay, because of what their faith, faith based institutions, schools, racial, religious, minorities, government facilities, personal U.S. critical infrastructure. So this is the P Department of Homeland Security is saying these are these are um, terrorist people when our weapons of warfare are not carnal. OK, a carnal mind is enmity with the Lord. OK, how we wound our adversaries is with, with these scriptures. Second Maccabees 15 and 15. OK, take this holy sword that shall wound thy adversaries. OK, and what's happening is with these words. Okay, of Yahweh Shemashai that's being given to the prophets and the apostles and the bishops. Okay, um, our, our our adversaries are being wounded. That's why they would come out with a um, you know um, a bulletin like this. And what do you have? You have the eagle. Okay, you have the eagle on their symbol. Okay, going into what Esau Edom. So this is how we know who you know who it is. Far as um, Esau Edom's coming out with this, why? Because he has perpetual hatred. Okay, so U.S. critical infrastructure, the media, okay, which their media is what the sorcery perceived ideology, ideological opponents, threat actors have recently mobilized to violence. Do so they're trying to tie us into being violent, and those Israelites that are carnal, carrying weapons to camp, okay, they're going to be the example of of um, you know being you know the lights being put out, okay, because those are going to be the first pe first people, you know that. Uh, that Esau is going to be coming after because they can't touch the very elect. Okay. And the ones that are of the elect that they're going to get, okay. They're going to be able to, um, endure hardness, endure hardness, like a good soldier, as far as they're going to stand firm upon that rock, which is our Lord, you have a shot. Okay. Through what faith, through what believing, through being predestined from the foundation of the earth, through what being the elect. Okay. It says two factors such as personal grievances, reactions to current events appear to violent extremist ideologies, including racial or ethical motivated. So the Lord, our Lord is racist. Okay. As far as he has a nation that he loves, which is Jacob is his inheritance. Okay. You Israelites, the, which are your peculiar treasure. But of those Israelites, there's an elect. Okay. And he has a people that he hates, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. And these other heathen nations are nothing but a bucket of spittle as far as they're nothing to the Lord. Okay, they're actually just set up as um, extras in the movie, and really they're just going to be uh, subject to what the, the Israelites. Okay, and Esau Edom is going to be Obadiah one and eighteen. Far as first, he's going to be a thousand year period of hardcore slavery. Okay, and righteousness, and then he will be what? He will be Obadiah one eighteen. He will be gathered up and will be exterminated. Okay, thus said the Lord. Okay, and so this is that slander that Esau Edom would be coming with. Okay, and the point of it is what. Faith based instant. So anybody that has faith, okay, that, and anybody that doesn't have faith in Yahweh Shemashai, okay, Esau Edom don't care about because he knows <laughs> you're not the chosen, you're not the chosen people. Now we're praying we're of that elect, okay, by what? Um, not corrupting the word, okay, and that's what you have is you have camps out there that are corrupting the word and they're using and, and abusing, um, the, the, you know, the knowledge that they've been given as far as. They've been given the truth, but what do they do? They go about their own ways. Okay. Um, let me get that scripture. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. I'll go back to the video. 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. Let's see. 
Wait, that's not it. First Corinthians. All right, let me go back to the video. I'm gonna, I'll find it over here. All the way, all day, faith based is right. Bones, right? Yeah. Bones, bones. Faith is a gift. Oh, Ephesians 2 and 8. Mm -hmm. Faith is a gift. You want that faith? Okay, I found it. <clears throat> this is 2 Corinthians uh, 2 and 17. 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. For we are not as many, yeah, because many people, okay, corrupt, you know, you know, um, they come with false doctrine. It says, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of the Most High, but as sincerity, but as of our power in the sight of thy power speak with we in Hamashiach. Yeah, because we have the mind of Hamashiach. Okay. As far as we're, we have the mind of Hamashiach, meaning that we speak the same thing. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. 1 Corinthians 2 and 16, for who had known the mind of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that he might instruct him, but we have the mind of the Messiah. Yeah, we have the mind of the Messiah. So in having the mind of the Messiah, okay, what, what happened? He believed. Okay? So he believed. So what he carried out, what the, uh, bearing his cross, going into when he was Solomon, when he was Adam, okay, bearing his sin. And then what, when he was Yahweh Shai, he was what? Perfect in the flesh. Okay? And we are what perfect through what the doctrine, which perfect, when you go into the word, it goes into complete. We're complete with Yahab Hashem HaShai, but we're still in these corruptible bodies. Okay, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of the things not seen. Yeah, the things not seen. Okay, oh, um, speaks about the empographer. Though we haven't seen the Lord with bodily eyes, okay, we believe. Okay, and then what the doctrine. Okay, Hebrews 11 and um, 6. Let me get a let me get uh, like two scriptures before that. Um, this is John three and thirty six. John three and thirty six. He that believeth in the Son, okay, Yahweh Shai, not Most High Christ, bless, had everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son, yeah, you don't believe in the doctrine, shall not see life, but the wrath of the Most High abideth in him. That's right. Let me read that NLT. And anyone who believes in that power, Son, has eternal life. The elect. Anyone who doesn't obey the Son, yet you don't want to do what the, pleases the Lord, right, will never experience eternal life, but remain under that power's anger and judgment, okay? And that's what you see going on. They're under what a uh, strong delusion of what not believing in the doctrine, even though it's right there in their face. Okay, let me get one more. This is John 6 and 40. John 6 and 40, it says, And this is the will of him that sent me, and that everyone which seeth the Son, Yahweh Shai, and believeth in him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up in the last day. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's raising us up to be able to believe in what the last day. Okay, how do we know we're in the last days? Because the prophecies are right there. Okay, as far as wars and rumors of wars, class wars, civil wars. Okay, and we have hope, and we have faith, and we believe in Yahweh Shemar Shai. We believe in the doctrine. Psalms 31 and 24. Be of good courage and shall strengthen your heart and you shall hope in Yahab HaShem HaShai. So we're hoping um, and watching <laughs> and uh, enduring hardness like a good soldier. Lord willing, we endure to the end. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of Yahweh HaShem HaShai is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver thy soul from death and to keep thee alive in famine. Our soul wait for Yahweh Shai. He is our help and he is our shield. For our heart, our minds, right, shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Yeah, we have trusted in his holy name. Holy means separate, sacred. Okay? And most high Christ blessed is not sacred. Let the mercy, yeah, because we know we're under mercy, the, the mercies of David. Let the mercy, oh, Yahweh. Okay, how do you get to Yahweh? You have to go through Yahweh Shai. Okay? And you have to have the Holy Spirit to be able to even do that. Let the mercy, which is a gift from Yahweh Shemar Shai, let the mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according as we hope in thee, according to we as hope in thee. And who is hoping in thee? Okay, the very elect. Okay, the faith based Israelites. <laughs> Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yeah, without faith. Okay, faith in the doctrine. To please him. 
For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And what does Yahweh mean? He is. He is or he exists. Yah meaning um, he and Hawa meaning breath exists. Whatever that you see. Believe that he is Yahweh, right? And he is a rewarder. Who's the rewarder? Yahweh Shai of them that diligently seek him. So who's diligently seeking um, Yahweh Hashem Shai? The very elect. Okay, because they trust in Yahweh Hashem Shai. They trust in what the doctrine. Okay, let me read this in the NLT. I'll end it right there. Hebrews eleven and six, and it is impossible to please the Most High without faith. Yeah, because if you have faith. Um, let me get that 2 and 22 or actually I think it's James 1 and 20 yeah right here James 1 and 22 it says but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. If you are, if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding a natural <laughs> natural face in the glass. For behold himself goeth his way in the straight way, forget what manner of man he was. But whose looketh into perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not forgetful, hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Yeah, so blessed at the la last days. Okay. Let me read this again. Hebrews 11 and 6. It is impossible to please the Most High without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that our power exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So with that, call Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ka'kwadah, Shalom to the elect, Kwame Shalom.